Anna? Remember the first time we met? You know how I believe in things like fate? Well, I think that was fate. You can laugh if you want. Hey, Nana. I remember us standing together at the edge of the river, watching the sun sparkle across the water. You kept humming this one song. Can you sing it to me again? I ran up the seven flights of stairs as fast as I could, and I opened the door. Even though the bed and futons had been delivered, Nana was sleeping on the floor. She was curled up in a blanket beside the heater. Hey, Nana, you gave off this impression of being like a stray cat, going through life free and full of pride. But I could see the wound in your heart. At the time, I didn't really think about it. I just thought it was another cool thing about you. I never realized how deep the hurt lay inside you. You were right. I've never forgotten that night. The song had no lyrics, so... You just made them up using any words you could think of, whether they made sense or not. It was like you put a crazy spell on me. Your haunting voice held me captive. The kitchen table was your stage. The cell phone was your mic, and the crescent moon was your spotlight. Nana, you're the only one in the world that could make magic like that. And to this day, I still believe that. And looking back on it now, the way I felt about you, Nana, felt a lot like falling in love. Even though in many ways I was still a child, you helped me learn to fend for myself in the real world. With you, my life was full of sweet dreams, and it felt like the pure bliss of a first love. So, Nana, do you still feel like you don't have a home? The dining room table and chairs that you made for us are still here. Just like the good old days. When I think about it, I never had much luck back then. It was as if luck was avoiding me every day. Especially when it came to things like this. Those tickets were a gift from the gods. Especially for you, Nana. I thought Nana was going to be really mad at me. But she looked like a child who'd just been scolded. It breaks my heart to think about it. If only I'd been more mature back then. If only I realized what your weaknesses were. Would things have been different now? It was the morning before the concert, Nana. And you were sitting by the window, just like you always did. But something smelled different in the room. It was the cigarettes I'd taken from Sheen. The smell of blast. Which you said you didn't smoke. Back then, I thought I'd never want to fall in love again. But that night, things changed for me. I decided I wanted to dream again. I wanted to love someone no matter how painful it might be. And while I was praying for your happiness, Nana, I regained my own sense of hope for the future. Hey, Nana. <laughs> okay, so I made her cry. Now what am I supposed to do? At that time, it was a dream come true. The reason I burst into tears was because I knew right away that it was my reward. From you, Nana. I felt your love more than a million thank yous. You made me so happy. In those days, Nana, everything in your world looked so shiny and sparkling, luring me in. It wasn't that I'd go out with any guy. I just wanted to bask in your bright, shining light. Eventually, I worked up the guts to get in touch with Takumi by sending a text message while he was on tour. But he never replied. He 
Hey, Nana. I've always adored you, Nana. I wanted to be like you. I still feel that way. So please, sing for me one more time. Hey, Nana. Why is it that making our dreams come true and being truly happy are often two separate things? I still haven't figured that one out. Hey, Nana. Our lives were so intertwined, but still, I didn't understand you at all. I had no idea I was hurting you. Please forgive me. Hey, Nana. I still think about you every day. I just want to see you across the table from me. My heart calls out your name. Over and over. As many times as it takes. What'll happen when I see Nobu tonight? How can I face him? What if he won't even smile at me anymore? Even the thought of that makes me want to cry. It was that song that Nobu wrote. On that night when you were singing it, Nana, you were wishing for something. You were pushing your voice so it could reach me. I can understand that now. It's not that I wanted to keep you all to myself, Nana. I just wanted you to need me. Hey, Nana. The feelings I professed that night remain unfaded in my heart. Those shining dreams we had back then? Don't ever forget them. Hey, Nana. What does Ren say to you when you're making love? I should have asked you then. You should have found out. That old clawfoot bathtub isn't around anymore. Hey, Nana. The mistakes I made, the scars I have, they won't simply disappear even if I cover them up. So I'm still calling your name, no matter how much it hurts, until you answer me. I'll still call out for you, Nana, no matter how much it hurts. I'll call until you answer me. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. You probably don't remember, but I was really serious about building that gorgeous house with a big yard. A house on a hill where you could see the sea. With a designer kitchen and a studio in the basement and piles of clothes in your closet. All the latest fashions, of course. I'd be there waiting. So every time a boy made you cry, you could come back home and just smile. Back then, I was pursuing my dreams. I achieved a lot of my goals. But along the way, I lost something irreplaceable. I lived fast and furious, never looking back, with no regrets at all. Now, there's only one thing I regret. Hey, Hachi, I wonder, are you happy now? You know, Hachi, I still believe that life is what you make of it. The difference is, now I understand that not everybody can be strong all the time. Because of that, I'm nicer to people now than I was back then. Hey, Hachi. I wanted to keep you beside me. Even if that meant putting a collar around your neck. I was afraid of myself, you know? And that's why I always kept a little distance between us. Even now, I don't make friends very easily. Because I'm still afraid. No matter what kind of life you choose to live, as long as you're happy, it'll be fine with me. I might never truly believe that with all of my heart, but still, I at least wanted to appear strong and elegant 
in your eyes. Just like a manga heroine who's too perfect to be real. The last thing I remember was the strawberry glass rolling off the table. Those were the first things we bought together for our apartment. It was falling. About to hit the floor. But I don't know if I caught it in time. Hey, Hachi. I was like that cheap glass. I was too weak to accept you as you are. It's just that I preferred the pain of breaking into pieces and the loneliness I felt from losing everything. I was too fragile. It's not your fault. Hey, Hachi. I was hostile towards Trap Nest because I was jealous of Rera. She stole Ren's heart. Not romantically, but as a lead singer. I just wanted to be as big as Ren. I never meant to make them my enemy. Damn, it's beautiful. This'll sell way more than a million. Tell me, how much harder are you gonna push her? I don't know what you mean. Huh? At least let me accompany her with my guitar, since you won't let me give her a hug. But ever since that day you were taken away from me, I was determined to crush them. I was gonna steal you back, no matter what. Hey Hachi, back then, when you kept losing yourself in love, maybe we weren't that different. We both struggled for the same thing, to feel fulfilled. I can understand some of those feelings you had, it's just that I couldn't back then. Is your new life that you protected at all costs still fulfilling you even now? The moment I saw your empty room, it felt like I'd wandered into a world where only I existed. I was lost and all alone. Hey, Hachi. No matter how much or how often people hurt each other, Loving someone is never a waste. That love letter you left for me back then, I still cherish it. You know, Hachi, from that day on, I could stand tall no matter how many times I got struck down. That's because I knew you were always watching me. Hey, Hachi. I know I can't be the hero in your story. I just can't do it anymore. But the heroine's name in my story is still Nana. The cute Nana. You. Hey, Hachi. The stars are sprinkled all across the sky. And tonight, they're shining bright as ever. Even now, when I see something sparkling, it reminds me of Ren. Hey, Hachi. Humans are such hopeless creatures. It seems the harder we struggle, the deeper we sink. If I could be reincarnated, I'd want to be a fish. Then I'd swim with Ren. Just the two of us in our little fishbowl. Hey, Hachi. It's kind of far back. But it is the safest VIP seat in the house. I wonder if your baby can hear me singing too. Hey Hachi. I always thought life was like swimming against the current, no matter how strong it was. But going with the flow isn't such a bad thing after all. As long as you're moving forward. Hey Hachi. 
Back then, I was full of deep regret because I was the one who introduced you to Takumi. But if you're still with him now and you're happy, that makes me feel better. It's my last ray of hope. Hey, Hachi, we have such different styles and taste. Who in their wildest dreams would have imagined that one day we'd both be wearing the same symbol of love at the same time? I know you're fickle and crave new things, but I hope you still treasure it even now. That generic looking ring from a high-end jewelry store. Hey, Hachi, they say you don't realize how much you care for someone until after they're gone. But I think it's when you come face to face with that person once more that you truly recognize your feelings for them. If I saw everyone again right now, I know that I'd depend on them just as much as I did back then. I'm scared of that. That's why I can't move from this spot. If I saw everyone again right now, I know that I'd depend on them just as much as I did back then. I'm scared of that. That's why I can't move from this spot. Hey, Nana. The midsummer flowers are blooming along the Tama River again this year. We're all waiting for you in apartment 707. I had matching yukata made for us, too. I think you know that Nobu stepped aside so that you could be happy. So if you end up sad or depressed, then it was all for nothing. Well, I'm sure that Takumi is going to make you cry from time to time, but you're the fool who fell in love with him, so I'm afraid you're just going to have to deal with it. And don't get upset when he cheats on you now and then, all right? Just smack him around until you feel better. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Nana. That night, the riverbank was packed with people. And I never did bump into Shoji or his girlfriend. It felt like a curtain had finally fallen on our relationship. There was such a big crowd that you could easily lose sight of the people you were with. So I wanted to hold Nana's hand. But I was worried she'd be annoyed if I innocently grabbed her hand, which was as warm as Nobu's. The wind on my fingertips was freezing cold. Actually, come to think of it, summer ended long ago, didn't it? Did you guys have fun at the fireworks? I hope you're all rested and ready to get back to work. <laughs> Hey, Nana, that summer you longed for more than anyone, the one we couldn't get back, well, it's here now. I'll always be waiting for 10 years, 20 years, 50 years.
Hey, Nana. Listen, I don't want you crossing this line onto my side of the bed, okay? Whose bed is this anyway? If you don't like it, sleep on the floor. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, come on!